Good afternoon. I'm Terry Catherine Durkis, founder of Opera Tune Productions. We are so proud to present our classical Easter concert series, Hope Resurrected. Thank you for being here for part two of our three-part concert series. We'd like to thank our lead sponsor, AARP, and our concert broadcaster, WMNR Fine Arts Radio. It is with the generous support of both of these organizations that this program was made possible. I think sacred music is some of the most important music ever written. And the music in this series tells the crucifixion and resurrection story of Christ. No matter your particular walk in life, we are all seeking and finding hope. We proudly present Hope Resurrected and invite you on a musical journey from darkness into light. Please also check out our spotlight charity, Bridgeport Rescue Mission at bridgeportrescuemission.org. They are a shining example of hope. I find hope in people like Terry Dirkus. I find hope in in um, women who I, I I'm really inspired by. I I find hope in in artists that keep going and um, and don't don't give up. I I find art art is a is hopeful breath in and of itself. Every day, even when it's not COVID, I think artists are you know rattling the cage um of death you know and saying you will not grab me you know you won't take me today i'm going to make and create and i think it really uh making something creating something laughs in the face of death in many ways and um and so that's where i get my hope i i love seeing other humans you know really laughing in the face of death and creating and giving uh, because it's uh, it's a powerful powerful expression and we need more of it so text painting is the way that a composer will notate the music for a specific word that the the vocalist will have to sing so for example in the Bach aria that I sing, Sanfte soll mein Todes Kummer, the German word Schlummer means slumber. And in that aria, I'm, I'm singing long sustained notes on the word Schlummer to indicate eternal rest. Uh, the aria is, um, it represents a lullaby. There's a, a rocking motion 
in the flutes and in the violins, which are played by the, the right hand by the organist. But there's this rocking motion of a lullaby. And so this, so the word shloma is on these long sustained notes indicating eternal rest or sleep, this, this very peaceful, somber atmosphere.
Um, Panos Angelicus was written by Cesar Frank. It is scored for, originally scored for voice, organ, cello, and harp. And it was, it is part of a larger piece, a larger hymn by Thomas Aquinas, St. Thomas Aquinas. And um, it's called the Sacris Solemnis. It's only, you know, Frank took a couple of lines from that hymn. Um, it basically, Panos Angelicus translates from Latin into English. It means um, bread of angels and is basically about the gift of Jesus in the bread and how all of us are invited to eat this bread and receive Jesus. For me, this is what ties into the idea of hope. No matter what life will throw at you, no matter what happens in your life, you will always have Jesus to help you and be there for you and to guide you. No matter what, he is there. And every time you take that precious body into your body, he is there with you.
Hi there, I'm Kate Muth. I am the Artistic Director of the Neo-Political Cowgirls Dance Theater, a not-for-profit company based in East Hampton, New York, and proud supporters of Terry Dierkes, Opportune Productions, and this presentation of Hope Resurrected. We think of art like food. We think of art like air. We think of art like love because art, no matter the genre, holds the power to nurture and sustain us, to lift us and to deepen us. We need art in the same way we need anything that helps us to thrive. Thank you for joining us on this musical journey as we together carefully make our way back out into the light. If you like what you hear, please consider making a donation to Opportune Productions today because your gift will support Terry's next glorious vision that's just around the corner and you will play an integral part in bringing music to so many, in bringing art and food and love and air through art to all of us who are so hungry to thrive. Thank you and stay safe. I think the line that I would choose from one of the pieces that I am performing in this concert series would be the line in O Divine Redeemer, where it is a plea and hear me cry and it's repeated, hear me cry. And I think that that line speaks to me because it is what being an artist means to me. It means to be able to show someone else my vulnerability, my sorrow, my my pain and to be able to honestly reveal that and courageously reveal that because we all have a cry we all have a cry especially now and so when i sang that i felt that and we all want to be heard part of the other half of needing to belong is also needing to be heard. And hear me, hear me cry. That feels important right now because we want to feel like we are heard. And I believe that in that prayerful way, we all are heard in, in a presence that isn't too busy to not listen or to be distracted. So hear me cry, and when I sing it, and when I say it, and when I feel it, I know I will be heard. And that's part of the hope that that peace offers me and that inspires me by, that hope, that, that knowing that I will be heard.
Yeah, I mean, it's the same, like for this zarzuela piece, I had never heard of Jose Serrano, because I honestly don't do a lot of zarzuela, but this was a really nice uh, ex or opportunity to do that. And I just, the way the music is written, it's very Puccini-esque, so I was just like, oh, it's like Puccini, great. Uh, so I was very happy that uh, one of the pieces on this program was uh, from a zarzuela. I am from Spain and zarzuela is, is music from my country, from Spain. And zarzuela is like a popular music, but it's classical popular music. And usually the zarzuelas are like um, an explanation of uh, something that is happening in a town or, or the feelings of experiences of the people. So it really doesn't say like a, a very deep or, or very uh, different, but it's more like the popular, the things that are happening in, in a normal life for the people. Of course, the one that they're performing is the La Dolorosa and express what is, the, what is happening in Mary, Mary that is suffering, and Mary that is walking, uh, but walking with Jesus, not only in the sense that she is by the side of Jesus, by the side by side by going to Calvary with him, but it's as well a spiritual experience. Mary that is walking inside as, as she is suffering as pain is, ha is happening in her life. At the same time, she's growing. She's growing in, in what? In hope and in faith. And I think that's a, a powerful message for all of us as we are as well experiencing suffering that we're as well walking. We are growing in faith and in hope.